accounts and what you like. Uh, we're going to get class started. Even if you're following along or just watching along, you can do some of these first couple of movements just in the comfort of your own chair. If you're following on the whole class and you're down on your mat or on the ground, um, we'll come into a comfortable seated position. Welcome to Yoga Playground. We got some new people in the Twitch chat today, some lovely regulars in the Zoom, uh, the Zoom room as well today. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is T-Man. Yoga Playground is uh, just an hour yoga flow through the lens of more of strength and mobility, and of course, a little bit of play. So there's some silliness in this class, as well as most of you already, already know. Let's come to seated. Hands can rest on the thighs. And we start to draw our attention inward. What does that mean? We, we can let go of the grocery list or our to-do list for the day. We can let go of the stuff that happened yesterday or last week. And when we turn inward and focus on something as simple as our breath, it helps to draw us into that, the now, you know, here. So through your nose, take a big inhale, really feel your trunk expanding like a balloon. Nice long exhale. Deep inhale through the nose. Feel the belly really getting big here. So you can kind of turn off those core muscles and feel the belly really spilling out so that we can maximally fill. Letting the air out there, good. And keep this breath going. I'm gonna talk a little bit. Just as we kind of get silly today and I'm talking through chat, we don't wanna lose this type of breath, right? And through my teaching and, and responding, sometimes I'll lose that. But if you're going through the practice, we want to stay anchored to this type of deep breathing. Especially when things start to feel a bit more challenging or a bit more restricted. The breath can, can act as our teacher. It can calm us down. It can settle us into a sense of ease and control. And it takes practice. It may not come naturally in the first several times that you try it, but when we stick with that breath, we can really feel the subtleties of our body, things letting go, dropping in, you know, these kind of commands and these little cliche lines that you hear through yoga classes. And it may feel a little cliche until you feel it in your own body. And that might take time. Good. Let's do these head circles here. Draw the chin down to the chest. Start to circle that head up, back, and around. Nice and slow. No need to rush. No need to rush. And as we move today, you know, you can do as little, as much or as little of the class as you'd like. But if there's any pain in your body, pay attention to that. We don't want to move through pain. We've got kind of a spectrum of sensations through our body, you know, from like not feeling anything to, ow, this is searing pain. We want to kind of be in the middle of that spectrum where we get to just, we flirt with the edge of discomfort and effort. Beyond that, we start to get into forcing, which is then becomes painful and uncomfortable. We don't want to be in that space. So tune in, you know, that's the thing we get through in yoga that we don't always get in higher intensity classes. You know, those tend to be moving quickly and things are loud and the music is pumping and, and that's all well and good when we want that. But we also need to practice slowing down, listening in so that we become aware of who and what we are. And then you can take that into your other classes, you know, so you come into it with a more of a sense of awareness. Good. I've changed directions if you have not. Nice. Let's come back to center here. Arms reach out to a T. 
Soft close of the fist. We're going to inhale, turn that right fist up, left fist down. We're wringing the towel. On your next breath in, unwind, come back to center. Exhale, twist in the other direction. Left fist up, right fist down. Inhale, unwind. Exhale over to the right. See how much you can get here, right? We'll notice a natural stop point and then see if you can squeeze any more, right? So the edge of discomfort, but not forcing into pain. Breathing it. It's a subtle distinction, but one that we can practice um, deciphering, right? One more time each side. Good, wonderful. Let's unwind here. Let's bring the hands down to the, uh, to the thighs here. And, and scratch that. Let's bring them out in front of us here. Okay. I'm going to inhale. Open my arms wide. So we're going to kind of do like an open chain cat and cow. So as I inhale, opening wide, sending my chest and my gaze up towards the sky. As you exhale, turn the backs of the palms together. And you'll see in the side cam that I actually reach fingertips forward and dome the upper back, kind of like a turtle shell back as I look down. So inhale, flip the arms open, send the chest forward, look up. Exhale. Good. So we normally do this on all fours. But here, we're getting a little more work through the arms as they're not connected to the floor. So just notice that you might start to feel a little fatigue creeping into the shoulders. Accept it. Breathe through it. Take a rest when you absolutely need to, but practice staying with that and using the breath to kind of sit in a little bit of discomfort. We use this as a, a little bit of a, an exposure to discomfort so that our threshold of what we can handle becomes a little bit higher. Nice. Last one here. Beautiful. Let's bring the hands down to the floor. Roll over the knees. We're going to come into to our all fours right here. Okay. Okay. Nice. So let's sink back into our child's pose. I'm going to widen my knees wider than the feet and sink the hips back. Arms reach out wide here. Notice if your forearms are just kind of resting on the floor here. If our arms are really noodly, you know, we, we get a little bit of an overhead stretch. But if we apply a little bit of effort by reaching the fingertips forward and kind of pressing the palms softly into the floor, you'll notice my forearms have lifted up off the ground. I'm going to try to spin my elbows to point towards the ground. And now, with a little bit of effort, I feel more of a stretch that opens up along not only the top of my shoulder, but down here into the lats, right under the armpits. And we'll feel that in my class and, and a lot of other yoga classes too. I just try to emphasize it a little bit more, how a little bit of our own muscular effort uh, can yield some deeper sensations through the body. Okay. So as a little precursor to our spinal waves, we're going to imagine a wave-like motion here. So as you inhale, tuck the pelvis, and you'll notice that it starts to draw you upward into more of a tabletop. So I'm still looking under my belly. And then as I take my in-breath, my hips are flattening, belly flattens, chest opens, whoop, and we're lifting up. I'm pushing strongly into the arms, squeezing the butt. Good. Tuck the chin. Round the upper back and send the hips forward. So doing the best that you can to create a wave that moves forward and backwards. So you can go at your own pace here, but I like to encourage moving more slowly. That tends to illustrate where we are weak in our movement patterns. We tend to rush through areas or we don't have as much control or strength. I'm going to do two more here. Good. Just feeling this nice juicy movement through the spine. 
warming up the shoulders a little bit more here as we kind of come into this like seal pose, this kind of high cobra type of position. Good. And we settle back into our child's pose. So let's inhale, come up to our all fours position. Let's just stretch the, uh, the wrists and the ankles really quick here. So hands about shoulder width apart, fingers spread wide, send that right leg back, keep the toes curled under. And as you, as you rock backwards, feel the little calf stretch that happens. And as you roll forwards, feel the little wrist stretch that occurs. So we can kind of rock back and forth here. We're still kind of warming things up. And where you need it more, we can spend more time. So if you're, the back of your leg feels a little tighter, I can emphasize just, I can hang out in this backwards rock. If you want more of a wrist stretch, I'm leaning forward. Leaning forward. Good. Nice. Let's bring that right knee down. Let's do the same thing on the left. So if I shift back, I'm getting that calf stretch. If I shift forward, I'm getting a little bit more of a wrist stretch. And be kind to your body. Be kind. <clears throat> Where do you need it, right? So the, cl the class name is Yoga Playground because we want to give you some room to play around and explore. So if there's something in your body, you're like, ooh, that feels interesting, and you want to kind of go off on a little tangent of your own, feel free, as long as you feel safe. Good. Nice. So let's spin the backs of the palms to the floor. You can see in the side cam. Now, some of you are going to need to start with bent elbows, because this is a pretty extreme position if you haven't done a lot of wrist prep before. So once the whole back of the hand is flat, then you can start to straighten the arms. Find kind of your limit here. Eventually, you'll be able to straighten the arms. And then if you can straighten the arms, you can spin the pits of the elbow whoop, outward. Little external rotation through the arm. We feel that stretch. Little bonus if you press the fingernails down into the floor like you're trying to push the mat away from you down into the ground. Nice. Cool. All right, let's sit back onto our heels. Give those wrists a little bit of a shake out. <laughs> Whatever's comfortable for you. Some of you can flip the toes or you can curl your toes here. I like to say the one that hurts the most is probably the one we need to spend a little bit more time in. So with the toes curled under, we get a nice stretch of the toes and the bottom of the feet. With the tops of the feet on the ground, we get a nice stretch across the top of the ankle. So neither one is bad. We, they both have their benefits there. So we're going to take our arms behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Inhale. Send the knuckles to the floor, which broadens across the shoulder. We get this nice proud chest here. Now some of you can start to lift the knuckles upwards. And this is a great stretch for the neck and the shoulders if you're at a computer a lot. Not only just this lifting of the arms, but I like to add in, we'll drop the chest and roll the left ear towards the left shoulder. Ooh, there we go. Maybe you get a little bit of a, a little bit of an underbite going on right there. And as we are in this extreme position, we get that underbite, which apparently gives you a little bit of a southern draw. And we can roll that chin down and over to the right side. Okay? If you feel like your fingers are going to sleep a little bit, you can back out of this a little bit. I feel that. Um, but <laughs> the, the sensation of stretch that I get through my neck and my shoulders feels so good, I try to just stay here as long as I can. But you may notice that little tingly bit. Like my hands are getting it. So be nice. And if, by the way, if you can't clasp your hands behind your back, I had a student in here the other day on Twitch saying, oh, I can't do that. If you have a towel or a belt or a yoga strap, you can just use that behind your hands to make up the difference between that. Nice. Subu, there you go. Yeah. 
if you're working from home a lot, if you're on the computer, that this stretch here, boom. Oh, so good. Really one of my go-tos if my neck is feeling tight, just for you guys. All right, let's bring the hands forward. Let's feel a little bit of a strong core in this bare plank or a bent knee plank. Start with wide, wide fingers here. We're gonna push the floor away and feel the shoulder blades spread across your back as much as you can. Okay, curl the toes underneath you. We got a little tuck of the butt and then we're gonna hover the knees. Okay, you'll notice I'm not, I'm not floating on, I'm, knees aren't in contact with the ground. I'm barely hovering the knees over the floor. Feel the strength through the arms, the shoulders, the core. You might start to notice your quads building up some heat here. Let's take a few deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Let's send the hips up and back. Stelios, welcome in. How you doing? Come on in. We're just getting class started. Feel free to hang out and chat. You can join in if you'd like for as much or as little. We are in our downward facing dog, this little inverted V shape here. Let the knees pedal out a little bit and find that nice deep breath again. So pneumatic, you may notice our class goes a little bit slower, but what I like to get into is how do we make more simple movements or flows feel more intense? How can we kind of take the reins and, and make the challenge what, it, what we want it to be? I'm doing great, feeling good, trying out some new lights, some new setups. It's always exciting. I did always have those plants. I think the, the camera angle is a little wider so you can see more of the plants over on the uh, right side of the screen there. Yeah, I miss him when the big one that was here is not doing so great. So let's inhale forward to a plank position. And then we're gonna exhale over the knees, chest and chin drop between the hands. We inhale, slide forward, then up. So the belly will flatten, but the chest lifts. Squeeze those elbows into your sides. We're gonna hold here. So if you're looking straight forward at me, I'm not doing anything fancy or interesting. We're gonna look straight down at the floor, right? The chest is lifted as high as you can. However, when we look down, notice how that opens up some space in the back of the neck. I like to add in this elbow squeezing in. Like I said, we're trying to pinch the rib cage with the elbow so that we feel some of those upper back muscles light up a bit more. Good. Inhale, see if you can get a little bit higher there. Oh, feel those upper back muscles. And exhale, forehead to the floor. Push yourself back into our downward facing dog. Rip. Good, good, good. Couple breaths here, inhale. Exhale. By the way, knees don't need to be straight. Heels don't need to be flat on the floor here. In fact, most of us can benefit from softening the knees a little bit more to allow the hips to go a little higher up into the air. And you'll notice when I did that, as the hips go higher, notice what my chest does. Whoop! Goes further through my arms. So I'm getting a more of a stretch and effort through my arms. So sometimes we think, oh, if I, if I modify, it's easier and therefore it's not as good. Mm, not usually the case. Generally, when we modify, we're able to focus on quality in another portion of our body or in another part of our practice. So that's really, really cool there. All right, so we're going to take our feet. We're going to walk them forward. We're going to be at a forward fold, top of the mat, letting the head and the arms just dangle down. Officer dangle. We're going to just let it go jello here. You might even grab for the opposite elbows to feel bit more weight there and here's an invitation to move your head in a nod or a shake just feeling that decompression of the spine as we're in a slight inversion here <laughs> nice will do stelios i can't guarantee that i'll stay safe i've gotten a lot of injuries here on stream but uh i appreciate the sentiment thank you and have a good shower yeah, I keep saying the stream will be the death of me. <laughs> oh, my sister and I, right? My sister does the big 12-hour streams. She's a trooper. 
they're doing those endurance streams. All righty, so we're going to release the hands to the floor. Inhale, bring the hands to the shins. Come up halfway. <laughs> I will be careful. I will be careful. So when we come up halfway, I've got my hands on my shins, and you can press into the shins as little or a lot as you need, right? We're looking to straighten out that spine. We're looking straight down. Feel the upper back muscles engaged. Feel the intensity that comes along the backs of the thighs here, okay? We're going to lift that right arm, thumb up to the sky, okay? And I'm looking to raise that arm so high that it kind of disappears out of my peripheral vision, okay? Notice what this feels like. There is effort here. Reach the fingertips out. Keep trying to straighten that arm as much as you can here. Ooh, nice. This ain't easy. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Let's lower that right hand down. Let's forward fold. Ah. Oh. Just feel that re-rounding of the spine as we just drape our body in half. <sighs> you know what's cool here? When we're upside down, it helps to relax the muscles of the face. So some of you might actually be able to, maybe you've heard this in other yoga classes, flubbering your lips, you know, the old... You can try it. It may sound silly. It might feel silly, but it's actually a movement that, that helps to reinforce us to oh, just relax the muscles of the face. Good. On your next in-breath, let's lift up halfway again. Hands on the shins. Hold that, right? So we feel strong hamstrings, strong glutes, strong paraspinals up the spine. Left arm this time reaches up in line. Thumb up to the sky and see if you can get it to disappear completely out of your peripheral vision, right? That lets us know, oh, my bicep is by my ear and I've got a really nice overhead position here. It takes effort, it's not easy. Two more big breaths here. Feel the breath kind of calm you and allow you to sit in this kind of discomfort. I mean, this ain't easy for me either. And exhale, hand down forward, fold. All right, we're going to come into a little bit of our kind of spinal waves. We're going to roll up the body. Old game lady, this one's for you. She redeems spinal waves, but we're all going to do them together. <clears throat> Starting from the bottom up, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk through, through the first one really slow, and then I'll kind of let you loose to find your own rhythm. So from our forward fold, deep in your knee bend, allow that booty to just tuck under, and you'll feel that, oh, that starts to lift me up off of the ground. So we're rolling up to our starting position. Once we get up to standing, let the head come atop the shoulders. Shoulders roll up and back and down. And then we inhale, lift the arms up. You can even arch back a little bit in this reach. Exhale, we're gonna fold forward. So we just came from this forward fold. We're going to do that roll up again, and we're going to go through a couple of these. So once more, bend the knees, tuck, uh, tuck that pelvis. Feel the abs stacking each one of your vertebrae as you roll up. Good. Once you get to the top, we inhale, reach up. Optional back bend if you want a little bit. Exhale, forward fold. Oop, sorry, Josephine. Good, let's do three more there. So here are our spinal waves. I'm imagining it's starting at my knee. It's coming up towards my thighs, my hips, my belly button, my chest. Right, just get into your own rhythm. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. It doesn't have to be at the same speed as mine, but see what you can find. It's really nice to Get that spine moving, right? There's that saying that we're only as young as our spine. <laughs> so if we can keep it flexible and supple, we will stay youthful and supple. Knees bend, rolling up. I think this is my fourth one of five. Oh, nice. No need to rush these, no need.
Good. I'm going to make this my last one here. Shoot. Good. Arms right down the middle and landing at center. Awesome. Woo. Nicely done, right? So moving slowly doesn't always mean easy. And if we're moving slowly with intention, we can really make things challenging for us. Okay, let's inhale. Feel the arms reach up tall. On the exhale, forward fold. We're going to use that in-breath to lift halfway up. Hey, we've been here. But just as we let that air out, ah, we deflate into our forward fold. Bend the knees, and we're going to step back into our plank. Do, 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 do. Awesome. So I'm going to set my right hand to the center of the mat. And I'm going to open up into a side plank. Now, this might be challenging for some to have the feet stacked. So feel free to allow your top foot to step forward as a little bit of a kickstand for both balance support. And if I push down into the floor, a little bit of support through uh, my obliques. If you want to make this harder, woo, oh, hitting my bookshelf there, you can lift that top leg. All right, for a little star plank action. Two more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale, right? Feel how your body's like, oh, this is hard. And then your breath goes, hmm, it is, but we're calm. Good. We're going to lower that foot if you had it. Drop that left hand back down. Now, we can take that knees, chest, and chin. If you know chaturanga, you can go for it. Otherwise, knees drop down, chest, and chin. Drop between the hands. Inhale, slide it forward. Slide it up, cobra, or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Do, 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 do. Awesome. So let's feel that left hand getting a little bit lighter. Some of you may come to like a little bit of a tented position through the palm. If you can go here and you feel stable still, left hand maybe floats. You can feel that. If you're like, yeah, what else you got for me? Take that left hand, reach across the body. We're coming into a little bit of a revolved downward facing dog. I'm looking under my right shoulder here. Now, wherever you are, we just want to be in a position where we're biasing weight into the right hand, whether it's tented, floating, or reaching. Okay? So kind of like choose your own adventure type of dealio. Good. Let's bring that left hand back down. Lift that right leg up into the air. Hello, Sarah. Welcome in. Now, as you exhale, bend the knee. Bring it forward. We're going to step the foot between the hands. If we don't quite get there, that's fine. If we get halfway up, just use your hand. Bring it the rest of the way. We're dropping that knee. Inhale into our low lunge here. Now, you'll notice I'm not, I'm not way down here yet because we're going to do some arm setup. So back your hips up, or as they say in the rap music, back that ass up. And we're going to back that ass up, and then we're going to take the... Ooh, what do I want? I want the left arm on bottom, right arm on top. And we're going to come into Garudasana, eagle, eagle arms. Gina, no yawning. Or are you just oming this whole class? Om. All right. Now here we can drive forward if you want. Elbows can lift away from the body and up higher than the body there. I see Daniel in the back there making some food. Woo! <laughs> nice. This feels good. All right, so we're going to shift our hips back. Stay in the eagle arms. You can straighten the leg and start to hinge forward. Oop, I need to read chat. Something happened with my window there. Why can't I see? Hey. Oh, he's cleaning. Nice. Oh, namaste, yoga sweet spot. Hello, hello. You're laying on the table with ice on your knee and east him. Oh, you can't back your ass up. Your ass is thoroughly backed up into that chair. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a little eagle arms and a half split. Garudasa Hanumanas. <laughs> I don't know what that would be. We're just... Getting a little stretch out here. Ooh, that feels so good. 
Feels so good. Awesome. Let's come on up. We're going to release the arms as we rebend into that front leg. Woo. Gosh, that feels really good. I want to add just a little bit more here. Let's start with our, like we're reading a book. Ah, huh, this is a nice book, but I'm going to read that book a little bit higher. <laughs> I'm looking to keep my forearms pinned together here. Okay. So as we inhale, open into goalpost arms, you can see in this main cam, I'm going beyond my back, maybe getting a little bit of a lift. And as you exhale, bring those forearms together, try to dome your back backwards. Okay. And you'll feel this added stretch in through the hip flexor there. We'll do about five of these. Inhale open back and I'm actively pulling back. So I feel my upper back muscles here. This is a heart opener, but this is also we're working, we're working them back muscles. Exhale, round down. So as I kind of turtle shell my back, imagine that you're trying to drag your knee, your bottom knee forward, and that lights up this hip flexor stretch. Three more. Inhale. You may even add a little external rotation through the shoulders. You can see my forearms kind of aimed up and back. That's extreme though. Exhale. Hydrate. Yes, Celsi, I will hydrate. Wait, Celsi, aren't you streaming? <laughs> or does that, do you have it set that if it, somebody redeems hydrate in my channel, it also pops up on your screen? <laughs> Celsi has this cool command now. When you redeem hydrate, it pops up a little icon on the screen. I will be looking to do that as well. It's very cool. Last one here. Ooh, I feel the shoulders because I'm adding this little bit of external rotation. Nice. Good. Let's release the arms, shake them out before we frame that front foot. Look at that alliteration. Frame the front foot. Oh, you just finished up. Nice. That would be a bit much. Yeah, Celsi. Can you imagine just everyone's... Uh, stuff popping up on your screen. You're like, oh my gosh, this is too much. <laughs> Welcome in. What's up, Trash Panda? How you doing? How you doing? We got Yoga Sweet Spot. We got Big CJ coming in. Fuzzy Wuzzy's here hanging out. All right. So we're in our runner's lunge, which is the back knee lifted. And we're going to look up. Now, from here, you can stay if this is uh, plenty for you. Actually, let's come up. Let's work from the top down. So let's come into our high lunge. Okay. Arms again. They disappear out of the peripheral and that we know we got that nice stack. Stay here or we're hinging forward. Woo! Nice. We got the crew coming through. How about you? How about you? <sighs> find that breath. When it gets hard, find that breath. Last breath in. And exhale. What's up? Vincent Kell, is that you? Vincent, is that, are you my neighbor? <laughs> Can you hear me in the other room? All right, we're going to step to the top of the mat. If you want to cycle through a vinyasa, you can. Ah. Welcome in. Ah. So we're just draping here. We're going to do all of that goodness on the other side. Inhale, come up halfway. It's looking like we're straightening the spine. Think of... Let uh, number seven versus candy cane, right? We see this a lot. Half lift. So really what we're doing is lifting this sternum and exhaling. Good. Inhale. We come all the way up. Arms reaching tall. Exhale. Arms down through the center. Good. We'll just shake out the arms. We're going to do that whole sequence on the other side. Fingers crossed that I remember everything. <laughs> I always say that. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, forward fold. Ah, dive bomb. Inhale, we come up halfway. Oh, you're in the South Bay. Nice. Yeah, I'm on the peninsula. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to bend the knees, plant the hands. We're stepping into our plank. If you know full chaturanga, you can do that. Actually, we showed knees, chest, chin, so the more challenging option is chaturanga, which is like a half of a push-up. We lower forward, then down halfway. Inhale. If you're taking the low road, cobra. If you're taking the high road, we got our upward-facing dog and downward-facing dog. Ah, nice. Feel it. You know what I didn't do, though, is that side plank. So let's inhale forward to that plank position. 
we're going to set up our left hand to the center of the mat. Rup. Yeah, we got those fires going. It's back to smoky weather over here. And Yogo Sweet Spot is definitely closer uh, than I am. Although we have some down here as well. Pneumatic, how, uh, how, how are they down there if you're in the South Bay? So we got our side planks. I'm going to walk my feet together. So this is kind of middle of the road here. And you can even stagger the feet if you need a little bit more stability. If you want assistance, take that foot about halfway up. Right, you can probably see this in the side cam. We showed it in the other cam. If you want to make it harder, we go, to, go into our star plank. Not quite as hard as Celsius star burpees, but we're working up to that. Okay, two more deep breaths here. Feel it balance you out, right? Allow it to give you a sense of calm, even when your body's like, ah! Good, exhale, drop it down and shift it back of course and thank you mods for all the sh the lovely shout outs a little harder when i'm when i'm teaching class and i appreciate you guys doing that really really do so let's inhale bring that left leg up into the air Rip. i am dripping sweat here exhale stepping forward towards our low lunge and again if we get about halfway up that's fine just use the hand get the rest of the way there and we drop that bottom knee oh my gosh where is hydrate? I need to take a second here. Woo. My goodness. All right, so we are gonna get set up in our eagle arms. So what did we do last time? We're gonna go right arm underneath, left arm over top. Now I should say, that double wrap for eagle arms can be tough. If we have different body proportions or sizes, this pattern might not be available to some of us. So we can always grab that arm across the chest, which gives us that same protraction of the scap, the shoulder blade stretching around the rib cage that we get with the eagle wrap. This is just a little bit more intense. So if you have to go to kind of this position here, nothing wrong with that. You're still getting some good stuff. All right, I'm just gonna go for that double wrap, okay? Now we can kind of sink forward into that low lunge. We're lifting the elbows away from the body and up towards the sky. Mods are the bomb.com. Not a real link, yeah. Yeah, everyone knows it's bomb.org or gov. <laughs> It's impo what's impossible, Dark? The, the double wrap of the arms or bomb.com not being a, a website? So we're gonna shift the hips back, straighten the front leg as much as you can, okay? Jen, what's up? By the way, let's give a happy birthday to Jen. It is her birthday today, love that. This might not be available to some of us. Yeah, chest hurdles, yes. I was putting that as nice as I could. <laughs> Hold on, stay in that pose. <laughs> happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Jen, happy birthday to you. There we go, I practiced that before class in case you came through. So happy birthday to you. All right, where were we? <laughs> Subu's like, did he really just play guitar in the middle of my class? I'm holding this pose. At least it's not a really hard pose, you know? All right, so we're gonna come back up, re-bend. Shake those arms out, but again, we're gonna read our book. And then we're gonna read our book a little bit higher, okay? Serenaded, that's right. That's right, that's, that's the kind of class you get here. <laughs> so as we inhale, feel the body shift forward. I'm pulling back. We did about five of these on the other side. Now it's up to you. As much as you want to externally rotate, right? So that goal post turns backwards. And then as you exhale, shift back. We're going to bring the forearms together, turtle shell that upper back, and try to drag the back knee forward. You'll add intensity to that hip flexor stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Good, Gina's taking a different pose, and that's totally fine. 
right? As I mentioned in the beginning, like if you're tired or your body feels like you need something a little bit different, go for it. I am not the supreme overlord that you have to do everything I say or your body will explode. We're here to kind of show you, hey, here's what you can do with your body so that you have these tools for yourself to do whenever you need them. You know, not just here when you show up to class. It's, of course, nice when we're all here and you're seeing it and you get to be told what to do, but it's nice to know what you can do, things that feel good, so that as you go through it. It's your birthday every day this month. Nice. <laughs> awesome. I think this is number five. I could be wrong. Awesome. Good. Let's lower the arms. Shake them out. Shake that thing. Uh, really gonna... Libras, rise up. If, that's okay, though, if you don't want to. No pressure. <laughs> Very Libra of you. All right, so we're gonna lift the back leg. Pumpkin Panda was giving us all our horoscopes in, uh, in yoga with Jen's class this morning. It was great. I learned a lot about my Scorpio tendencies. I'm not intense, okay? <laughs> As a Scorpio, I'm not intense. Some say I'm mysterious, but uh, you'll have to find that out on your own. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, let's come up to our high lunge. Subu. <laughs> Subu's like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> you can stay here again. If our arms are out here, we can probably see them in our peripherals. So as best as you can, use those bicep earmuffs to let you know. And then we can hinge forward. Optional. Option. Oh, I ping Tai Chi. Hello. Drop in and say hi. It's good to see you, I ping. I was lurking in the raid that happened in your channel earlier. I was watching you do little face massages. It was very relaxing. I had you on like an ASMR channel while I was working. <laughs> so thank you, I ping. Thank you for giving her shout outs and all the shout outs coming through here. Good. One more breath in and exhale. Ah. <sighs> Nice. Let's step forward into our plank, or um, step into our forward fold. Ah, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, let's inhale, half lift. Forward fold. I have one and it's enough. <laughs> well, Dark, you got me now, so there, there's two, unless you're talking about me. Inhale, come on up. And exhale. Good. Let's just shake that out really quick. And again, I'll give you, since some more people are in here, I'm going to show that neck and shoulder stretch that I really, really like uh, if you've been at the computer for a long, long time. Or if you just feel a little tightness in your neck, we'll just do it from standing this time. So we're going to interlace the fingers behind the back. I guess Gina is done. <laughs> it must be getting way too hot out there. Inhale, feel that shoulder. The shoulders broaden. And then option here to lift... Lift the uh, fists away. Now the variation that I was showing here is once we're as stretched as we can be through the shoulders here, drop the chin. And you can roll from one side to another. Did it get too hot for you, Gina? You did most of it. You know what they say, if you can't stand the heat, leave the Zoom session and remain in the Twitch chat. All right, so you can go through this next stretch if this is feeling good. If you want a little variation on this theme, soften the knees, bend, and let the fists come over. Okay? Yogi's choice here for the next few moments. We're just going to breathe deeply. I'm going to get a little bit of water. I'm going to hopefully get my chat working again on this screen because you guys are popping off. Oh, that's why it went off. My thing came unplugged. Excellent. Is it working? I think we're working, yes. Iping has to go. Thank you, Iping. All right, I should do this. Thank you. If you want some excellent uh, Tai Chi instruction here on Twitch, Iping Tai Chi is your gal. Very relaxing uh, teaching style is very nice. I can do nap time pose on your own, thank you very much. <laughs> That's true, That's true. Which we are heading there in a moment. This next section, I, I know, I love nap time pose too. Um, we're gonna attempt or give you some building blocks towards handstand. 
Now you do not need to do handstand. <laughs> if you've been in my chat, you know that I do a bunch of handstands, but I don't teach it often in my class, but I know Suba that you're working on the kickups and that you have a wall next to you. So if you're gonna try some handstand variations or just some kickups, um, I would advise getting close to the wall. Now, this is, of course, at your own risk. I can't see any of you uh, via text. Um, and if you fall and hurt yourself, you're probably not going to type, ouch, I fell and hurt myself. Uh, so we can't call the authorities. So just at your own risk, uh, please try. Are you going to try these, Subu? Cool. All right. Sweet. Celios is back from the shower. Welcome back in. Napped. <laughs> yeah, Trash Panda Asana, that's right. So we're going to come into our down dog, and I know I just kind of jumped there. We didn't exactly gracefully flow into that, but it's all good. It's all good. That's the playground part of this. We just played our way into our downward facing dog. So we're going to walk ourselves about halfway up. Now, if you're near a wall, imagine that my wall is right at the edge of my mat. So I'm about six to eight inches or like a, like a hands width space from the wall. Okay. What is Vegas says about the odds? <laughs> we will be careful. We will be careful. Everyone will be careful. And of course we don't have to jump up. Um, and Subu, if you just want to go for it, if you know, you know, the drill, you know, the, the cues that I've been giving. So we're going to step about halfway up with one foot. The foot that wants to step halfway up is probably your dominant foot, the one you're going to bias anyway. So I'm going to lift that other leg up into the air and I'm just going to feel first this kind of springiness of my planted leg. All right. We just want to kind of feel all the components of our kick up. So this is our little boing boing spring. And then we've got the other piece, which is our whippy whippy leg. And notice I'm trying to keep it straight. I'm not all noodly leg with this. I want to use this to kind of create a little bit of momentum. You can kind of see it as I kick up this leg, it, it pulls this boingy boingy spring leg off of the ground. Okay, so those are our two leg components. Now what we're going to do is shift forward. I'm going to use my boingy boingy leg to kind of push me over my wrists. And then we're going to just start with a little bit of baby, baby hops. So I'm going to use my whippy, whippy leg. I don't know why I'm saying everything, everything twice, twice, but, but that, that's how, how it's, it's going to, going to be, be. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to do that. All right. So we're going to just whip and feel it kind of pull you off of your springy leg. Okay. Rip. <clears throat> And you don't even have to be, the goal doesn't have to be to get up. It's just getting used to the kick up and feeling some weight into your arms. Once you kind of feel the, the, the whippy whippy and the boingy boingy, then we can start to go for a little bit of small, medium, and large. Now notice there, I kept my legs in this split position. I really recommend when you're trying out these Subu, nice. That was good. I only saw your head and your arms, but they were upside down. So that's a handstand. <laughs> um, I don't have TikTok, by the way. I saw that. I don't have it. Um, when we stay in this split leg position, it, it helps us with our balance point. Oftentimes when we're starting uh, our handstand, we end up doing what I lovingly call the kick and pray, right? We kick up noodle legs and just like pray that we get into that balanced spot, right? But when we keep our legs split, it's teaching us how to stay firm and active in the legs. So you can even start to find this kind of stall sp spot with split legs. And you can even come into a Y, which helps you find that balance spot a little bit more. And then over time, you can bring the feet together. Jen, oh my goodness. Thank you for the tier one subscription. Would you like to see a handstand <laughs> or would you like to see five pistol squats? I'll leave that up to you. But we are doing handstands right now, so you get to see them. Suba, let's see what you got. I would shift your hands excuse me, I would shift your weight forward over your wrists. Okay, so this is another thing that we see with handstands, people trying to do their kickups. Hello, Jules, welcome in. Can we get a shout out for the lovely Jules with our awesome new home gym? So some of us start, whoop. <laughs> One of these days I'm gonna kick that and everything's gonna fall down on me. And I hope on that day, y'all will clip that because it will be funny. So, oh my goodness. 
Subscribe. Thank you, Jules. My goodness. Well, here's here we'll do a handstand for Jules and for Yoga with Jen. Uh, Jen, I should be subscribing to you. It's your birthday. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. If we try to kick up back here, look at where my shoulders are relative to my wrists. So not only do I have to kick up, I have to kick up and forward, right? And that's going to be more momentum that we then have to control upside down. So what I was saying for you, Subu, is we want to try to get set up where our shoulders are over our wrists so that we really only have to go up, right? We just have to get our hips stacked above our shoulders, and it's, it's okay. Even if I don't hit that balance spot, I'm still feeling when I get into that space. Yoga with Jen, this is for you. Thank you for the subscription, even on your birthday. And I'll give this one to Jules as well. Thank you so much for the subscription. Whew. Okay. Try it out. See what you got. I want to watch Subu attempt it a little bit more. Nice. I can only see like up to his chest. In fact, you know what? Hold on, Subu. Let's try another one. We're going to we're going to see you. So y'all can see who this Subu guy is. Oh no. Okay, maybe not. I don't have it set up today. One day you'll do those. And one day you will, Jules. With the strength work that you're doing with mom, I have no doubt. Let's see, uh, Subo, I was gonna show you off, but uh, it didn't work. But let's see, one more attempt. Not too bad, get your shoulders forward over your wrists, because right now you're just not getting far enough forward. Close. Wrists, yeah, let's take it easy. That was about all we were gonna do with those. You gotta head out for the day, then class this evening. Awesome, let's get Short Man Fitness another shout out. I still haven't fixed it on my board. Short Man Fitness was modding like crazy for me today. Thank you. Some be someday better than others. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I always say that when we have handstands, and maybe you felt that too, Subu. Some days it just, it clicks. And some days it's like a different, a whole different body, right? And, and um, I don't know if Schmarbles is in here, but he often coaches me. And I'll say that like, oh, today's a good handstand day or today's just not, it's not happening. Uh, so just know that. And that's, that's one of the lessons that we get through yoga as well. It's like we show up and we kind of just feel into our body. We get into our breath. We get into the present moment and we say, how are we today? You know, I was able to do this pose last week, but this week I can't. And then you go, oh, well, maybe it's because I'm a little bit more stressed out or I, I didn't eat too well or my sleep was off, you know? So we, we start to get a little bit more introspective and accepting of where we are in that moment. Not with judgment, but just accepting as it is and kind of going with where we are right there. And that, that's the lesson I love that we can carry into our family life. We can carry it into our fitness life. Uh, these are the lessons that we learn on the mat that we can then take out to, to our life. And that's kind of the message with yoga. It's not just, hey, did I nail my warrior two? It's like, what did I learn the, the asanas, these physical poses, are just like little mini lessons for us. What do we learn? Oh, this is hard today. Oh, I used to beat myself up, but now I just accept it. Wow, you just leveled up your own self-acceptance and gratitude in your life that hopefully you can take that and apply that to other areas. So let me climb off my soapbox now and we'll finish up with our, with our, uh, with our stretches here. You know what? Since Jen's here, let's do that little bow tie pose that she mentioned a couple of weeks back. Subu, do you remember, remember doing this one? No? Okay, that's all right. So we're going to come down onto our belly here. And draw Hey, Kathy, welcome in. Good to see you. Nice to see you. We had a couple people heading out. Nice. You can keep going with the demo. Love the handstand. Awesome. Oh, uh, Yoga Sweet Spot said she had another way to get into it. Maybe uh, once we wrap class, we can, uh, if you're still here, you can talk us through and I'll try to demo it as best as I can. So we're going to come into our Sphinx pose. There you go. Subu's there. We're going to take our right arm 
thread it under our left arm. Jen, if we if there's a, a different or a better way to cue or get into this, please let me know. Yoga with Jen, another yoga streamer, as is uh, Yoga Sweet Spot. So I've really threaded that arm as far under that I can. Okay. And we, can, we have a couple of options. You can reach that left hand forward out in front of you, or we can thread it across the front of your face. To be in our bow tie. And I'm a little locked up in the back here. I, I would have preferred to be a little bit further forward. And again, the same potential limitations for eagle arms uh, <laughs> may be an issue here. <laughs> okay, yeah, yoga. Perfect. Good to see you. Staff meeting coming soon. I'll do this later for sure. Excellent, Kathy. Would love to have you here. Subu, I can't see you on the screen. I trust you're in this. So we feel a little stretch across the backs of the shoulders there. Ah, there's marbles. Speak of the devil. We were just talking about handstands. I was explaining we have good handstand days and bad handstand days. You eating another tray of sushi? Ah, not not much. We just did some upper body stuff. We taught a little bit of uh, a little bit of handstand, a quick quick little run through. I just said, oh, Dragon Blue, hello. Quick hi and bye. And now that I'm going back to work tomorrow on an early shift, oh my goodness, I know. It's all starting to starting to happen. All right, so we're going to unwind here. Okay. We will do the other side, but before we do that, I want to do a little chest opener. So we're going to open the arms out to a T. We're going to bend that left leg, send it up and over. Okay. I can't go further than my bed here, but maybe... You can go a little further. <sighs> nice. So two options. You can use this hand to kind of press you into a deeper chest stretch. Or back of the palm comes together here. Now, for those of you who saw uh, exclamation point elbow pop, <laughs> um, the arm that's pinned right now is in that similar position. So what I could have done in that, in that clip if, you, if somebody types that, you'll see what I'm talking about where I busted my elbow, where I popped my elbow in a not so great way. It's still recovering. Um, what I was missing is a, was a, a bit of a downward pressure into the floor. So with that right hand that's getting stretched, you can press down into the floor and get a little bit of, uh, get a little bit of uh, some muscular support around the shoulder and the elbow joint. Let me bring this around. <clears throat> There we go. Oh, thank you, Dragon Blue. Normally on call, but every few weeks I physically have to go and go work in in the hospital. Nice. Any back bend guitar solos today? You know what? That's a good idea. Maybe I will. We I did play guitar in this stream already. We uh we did a little quick happy birthday for for Yoga with Jen. It is her birthday today. It's also our uh, Gina. It's our dad's birthday today. I got to give him a call a little bit later today. Excellent. So let's come back down to our, our belly. Oh my goodness. Subu, it's past, it's past one. <laughs> Just make sure that you get the, uh, those two stretches on the other side. It's because I sang all that darn happy birthday. Subu, thank you so much for hanging out. I will see you uh, next Tuesday, but I'm going to be gone for a week. So next Thursday and the following Tuesday, I'll be in Idaho hanging out with old game lady and our, and our mom. Okay. I'll see you later. I'll, you'll get an email though. Thank you. See you later. All right, so we're going to set that bow tie up on the other side. So we come back to our, we come back to our um, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, sphinx pose. We're going to thread that left arm underneath with the palm facing upwards. <clears throat> and then we thread that right arm over top huh, to even things out. Ah, <sighs> and we're breathing. See you later, Dragon Blue. Thank you for hanging out just for a second. And I hope you have a nice day at work. Pumpkin is cooking pasta. Nice. I think I'll have a smoothie after this. By the way, on Thursdays, I do have a session pretty close to after the stream. So I have to, I have to end on time. 
And we're just breathing here. We're breathing. Yeah. Nice. Just chilling out a bit. Chilling out, Max, and relaxing, all cooling, on shooting some b ball at the school. Awesome. Let's come out of this nice and slow. And then we're going to open our arms out to a T. We're going to stretch out the front of the shoulder now. Because that bow tie pose is a nice kind of back of the shoulder, upper back, a little bit of a stretch. I really like that. <clears throat> so we're going to take our right foot, bend it up and over. So I've stepped my foot. Boop. Now I can use my right hand, if you're looking in that side cam, I can press into a bit of a deeper chest stretch. Or we can try to reach back to the palm <laughs> together. Put my chat here so I can read it. I love breathing too, Yoga Sweet Spot. Wonderful. Look, oh my goodness. Even in that deep exhale, I felt my body just drop down to another level. That was beautiful. Um, uh, Nestor, James Nestor. A Goofy Moments compilation. You know what? That isn't a bad idea, Stelio. I've seen uh, some of the bigger streamers when they, when they have to go do something. They have like a little comp in video that they play. As I was telling you about Schmarvels, to increase your shoulder extension. Good, we're going to bring this back around. Excellent. Now I'm just going to pancake flip onto my back. Flip it to pancake. I'm going to go this way, though, so I can see a little bit easier. Oh, I cut out. Don't tell me my mic is not working again. I just got a new mic. <laughs> I was asking if you, uh, Schmarvels, if you've tried that, the tabletop movements to increase your shoulder extension. Now, before we get into our... Um, twists in our Shavasana. I want to go into a modified bridge, which is a spinal extension. And if you know full bridge or wheel or however you know it, a back bend, you can go for that if you'd like. But I'm going to teach the more accessible back bend for most of us. Feet are hip distance apart, heels drawn in so that you could reach down and touch, tickle your heels. And then as you drive the hips up, we create a little bit of space here. Okay, I'm going to draw my knees together. We don't want them flared out too much. All right, for, well, in this case, a terms of service reason. But um, for most cases, we want to feel that inward rotation so that we really get hip extension and a little bit of spinal extension. To go a little further, we can interlace the fingers behind the body here. Now, as we lay here, I'm on the backs of my shoulders. But I can, I can kind of shrug my shoulders behind me so that I end up more on the outsides of the shoulders. And you can see there's much more of a lift through my spine. And we're just going to breathe here. So the more I kind of press down through my fist, I can get a little more lift through my chest. I'm applying some effort, but I'm not forcing my body into any sort of like discomfort or pain. And I'm breathing here. Oh, my knees started to drift apart, so I'm going to squeeze them towards each other so that they remain parallel to each other. Last breath in. And exhale, release the hands, lower the hips. Very good. Let's bring the knees into the chest. Da -da -da -da. Oh, just on your head. Gotcha. I do them as well. Excellent. I did well. I got another. Um, I got another headset. What was what was uh, the issue? Was my transmitter body pack? At first, I ordered another headset cable, just the mic. Plugged that into my old thing, and it kept doing it. So then I ordered a new 
body pack transmitter. Wow, how did you know I had the Shure SM31? You have a good eye or a good memory? <laughs> or I have it listed somewhere on my channel that I forgot about. Do I have a gear list on my page? I don't think so. Oh, you did, okay. <laughs> good memory then. All right, so we're gonna take our knees. I've gotta unhook my pouch. But honestly, that body pack between all the yoga and the lifting and it gets dropped and sometimes I roll on it, uh, it definitely took a beating. And it had been going strong for about four years before it finally crapped out. So it was not a cheap product at all. All right, so we're gonna drop the knees over to the left. I let the whole body go. Whoops. And then come up and over. You had to buy a new keyboard, oh no. Yeah, Schmarbles was in here the other day. If, if we didn't know who he was, we would have thought he was a troll because he just kept typing a bunch of numbers, spamming chat, but <laughs> little did we know it was his keyboard running amok. You're waiting for your skipping rope band and waits for the ankles, nice. Are you gonna be getting into some your own fitness stuff, Stelios? Yeah, good thing no one banned you. That was like the other day we were in a Vander Commanders and Dr. Dark said something <laughs> and they thought he was trolling and they went to go ban him. I was like, no, don't ban him. He's good people. Remember that, Dark? That was a funny day. Got a gaming keyboard, but it's a model lower than what I had. Oh, that's okay. Sometimes. That's no, no biggie. I need them for your physical therapy exercises. Gotcha. What are you rehabbing, Stelios, if you don't mind me asking? Good. Let's come out of this twist. We're going to come back through center slowly. I actually like to draw my knees a little tighter into the chest. Makes the roll towards my back a little bit easier. And then we drop the knees over to the right. Left arm comes up and over. Scoliosis and knee problems. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, it's good to hear that you're doing some physical therapy. And doing your own exercises, which is nice. We're breathing here, just like we did when uh, Yoga Sweet Spot reminded me to breathe. <laughs> Sometimes the teachers even need to be reminded. We can use those long exhales <sighs> to just sink down, let our body melt. Just nice. Oh. <sighs> well, in doing what your therapist tells me. Well, there you go. Hey, it's something. Believe me, you'd be surprised that uh, how many people don't do what their personal trainers or physical therapists or MDs tell them to do. So you're already a step ahead of the game. Good. So let's bring those knees back towards the chest to allow the body to roll back to center. Let's take both knees in towards the chest, hug them in tight, and lift the head and chest. Bring your face up towards your knees. Breathing here, censored. <laughs> And we're gonna let it all go. So as you release, straighten the legs down. I like to do the ring thing. What's the ring thing? Like this, the Pilates ring here. Is that what you're talking about? It is nice. Uh, if you wanna learn how to use more of the Pilates ring, uh, Pilates Mama SD, if, if someone could shout her out, because I'm about to go into Shavasana here. Uh, she, she does classes in the evenings or evenings for us <laughs> here in California. Um, she's on usually after grace yoga, generally. Um, but uh, yeah, the ring thing. Oh, the right thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> thank you. That's what happens when I'm looking at the small te text. I like to do the right thing. I'm no expert. Nice. Well, that's why you go see experts, right? 
All right, so we're going to wind things down. I'm going to get into our Shavasana here. <sighs> and this can be however you need to adjust yourself to be comfortable. If lying flat on the ground doesn't feel great, if you feel like a pinchiness in your low back, feel free to elevate your hips with blocks or pillows or blankets. Some of you might even prefer knees up, bringing the feet as wide as your mat, and then they can collapse into touch. So you don't even have to apply any effort to, to hold them in. But I, mine, mine was feeling good, nice and, nice and straight there. So we're going to be here for a few moments. Actually, let's set our timer. We're going to be here for about three minutes or so. If you have more time on your own, it's nice to do these for five or ten minutes. Um, but, you know, it would be nice to just get a few minutes here in stillness and in silence to really start to integrate what we did through the class today. Try to see if you can feel some of the upper back muscles or the shoulder muscles, some of the things and the sensations that we felt during the class today. Can you remember what they felt like through your body? You know, and it's just a practice of honing in, tuning in. And we can let go of the breath here and just simply allow the body to do as it does. It's the wonderful part about our physical being. There's so much that it can do. It, it moves food through our body. It absorbs our nutrients. It, our bodies know to breathe on its own. We don't have to tell it to do it. Our hearts beat without us having to say, hey, pump, pump, pump. <laughs> So as we lay here in this stillness, we can kind of bask in this awe of, wow, you can repair yourself. You can do all of this stuff. Thank you so much, body. And the longer we sit here in this stillness, you may notice you keep dropping deeper and deeper into these levels of relaxation, of gratitude. And you may kind of drift into this space between sleep and wakefulness. Kind of that yoga sweet spot. We start to bring life back into the body by deepening the breath. And then finding small movements that arise in the fingertips and the toes. And creep up into the hands and the feet and the ankles and wrists. We draw the arms up overhead. 
Feeling the body stretch long. Take a big breath in. Opening your mouth, stick out the tongue. One more time. Big inhale, big stretch. Very nice. Let's bend the knees into your chest. And just allow your body to roll to one side. Cradling your head. And then we come up. <sighs> that was lovely. Let's cap things off with three rounds of ohm, shall we? Just looking between you and another streamer, but here to support. Oh, thank you, Schmarbles. Welcome to the club. I think half the people in this in this chat are probably in like four or five other <laughs> streamers windows. I know I do it. Dad bod life 42, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome in. We just finished class. We're going to do our three ohms, and then I'm going to hang out for another 40 minutes. Uh, but I do have a hard stomp today because I have uh, I have some other sessions to attend to. A oh, home that's <laughs> yeah, the electrical ohm, <clears throat> ohms law, Sherlock and ohms. <clears throat> oh my God, hanging with my Omies. <laughs> but uh, but when you do handstand, let you know. All right, probably uh, we'll we'll do a couple uh, uh, once we finish with our ohms here, just because today felt like a a pretty good pretty good handstand day. So we are gonna finish with three rounds of ohm. You can join in if you want. Um, generally, we see it written out as O M. Um, sometimes you'll see it written A U M which is a little bit, like I say, it's a little more indicative of how the shape of the sound goes. So it's kind of three parts. Ah, ooh, mm. And we kind of blend those together as they shift through the sound. So feel free to join me if you'd like. We do it three times. So if you feel compelled on that third, um, feel free to join along or just enjoy the sounds. We're gonna sit up nice and tall, hands on the thighs or in prayer. Feel free to close your eyes if that feels nice for you. Let's take a breath in. Breathe everything out. Inhale for Om. I wish you were all here to, to join in in the same room. It's really powerful when you have a whole room full of people singing the same note. It's it, That'll move you. <laughs> I want to thank every one of you for being here today, whether you were taking class, whether you did a few things here and there in your chair, if you were hanging out in chat or just lurking behind the scenes. I appreciate it all, and I appreciate all of you. So thank you so much. Namaste.